What's up, guys? Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So if you're anything like me, you love playing with Legos. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just enjoy taking the parts and pieces and putting them together and creating something a little bit bigger with the little pieces. So I just love doing this. Now there's a geometry node set up for Legos, and it is fantastic. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so earlier this week, Antoine Bagatini, um, the developer that brought us the Bagapi geometry node setup, which we've talked about before, um, posted on his Twitter page that he has a Lego generator made with geometry nodes available on his Gumroad page. So if you click through to his Gumroad page, which by the way, I don't think I've ever clicked on something so fast in my life, um, but if you go to his Gumroad page, um, this is something where it's an actual node setup where you can generate the individual pieces of Legos. And on top of that, he's made it available for free. So um, I would recommend if you can, um, please donate to him in this box right here for creating all this very cool stuff. I mean, again, he brought us the bag of pie geometry node set up. Now this, um, and uh, it's just something that personally I find to be a lot of fun. But let's take a look at what it does over in Blender. So if we jump into Blender, um, this is the file that comes along with it. And basically what you can see is what this does is this has a geometry node set up in here specifically designed to create the Lego parts and pieces, right? And I don't wanna get too far into the actual setup right here other than just noting that it works. But um, if we were to jump into our layout tab right here, let's take a look at our Legos and we'll go to material preview mode. But every one of these Legos has a geometry node set up on it. Let's go ahead and let's create another copy of the Lego right here. Well, what's so cool about this is you can actually set this up using the X, Y, and Z functions in order to create actual Lego shapes and sizes. So, and I, I don't know if these correspond to like real Lego sizes in real life, but what it does is it allows you to make them thinner or thicker. Um, so on the X or Y, as well as adjusting the depth. You can basically create any simple Lego type in here just by adjusting these node setups. And then if you want something else, you can just make a copy of it right here. And then you can just adjust this as well. And so at least to me, this is just fantastic in its simplicity. Like literally I can create whatever Lego size I want um, using this. And so one of the cool things about this is this actually comes with a Lego shader so it comes with like this plastic material and then it also comes with a Lego translucent shader right here. So you can use that in order to create different kinds of Legos. So you can create both the translucent ones and the plastic ones. Um, one thing to note about this is this is set inside of the geometry node setup. So don't go into the material setup, go into the geometry node and you can pick the materials from here. So if you wanna create a new material, you would create that by um, duplicating a material and then changing the color, but um, you don't want, what you don't want is you don't want to go in and change the material of the actual object in here because you're not going to get the result that you're looking for. The other thing to note about this is notice how right here there's a slider for use random. And so if you turn the use random on, what that's going to do, and let's go back into material preview mode. If you turn use random on, what that's going to do is that's going to create a random color for your Lego. So for example, if I was to duplicate this right here, notice how I get this uh, teal color and if I continue to duplicate this, I just get multiple different colors that are in here. So you can use that in order to create random materials or you could also duplicate this material. So for example, I could use this one individually, right? And just make it unique. So I'm just gonna click in here. And for this one, um, probably what I would do is I would take my old one and I would label it Lego random. I would take my new one and I would do Lego, mm, we'll say pink, that's fine. So we'll do Lego pink. And then you can just set the color right here. So we can say this is gonna be a pink material. And what we would wanna do is we would wanna make sure that this had the Lego pink material applied to it. So um, a lot of different stuff you can do with this. I could see you creating like a library of different Legos, um, which you could then bring in, but you can also just duplicate these and then create whatever Legos you want using these features. So just to me, this is just a fantastic, super exciting tool. We may do something where we just create something um, with Legos a little later on. I think that would be kind of fun, but 
Overall, highly recommend that you go pick this up. You can pick it up for free. If you can afford to donate, please do that because this is a super cool tool. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Um, if you're as excited about it as I am, I just love having that conversation with you guys. I will link to this in the notes down below as well as to Bagapi, which also comes from the same developer. Um, but like I said, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.